bros? Uh, it's Austin Frosty, man. YouTube video surfaced the day after an FSU student killed two people. We're all the same, though. Peace out. Tonight, the probe deepens as the victims' families mourn. It's hard to believe that you lose somebody like that. Team coverage on these morbid murders. And tonight, brand new information about what led up to these morbid murders in near Jupiter. Our live team coverage begins with local 10 news reporter Michael Seiden in West Palm Beach. Janine, right now this college student is conscious, but he's unable to talk. That's because he has breathing tubes in his mouth. It is still unclear if he was high on synthetic drugs, but tonight we are learning that friends and family of this college sophomore are very concerned. That's because of some bizarre posts on YouTube. Uh, hello, bros. Uh, it's Austin Frosty, man. Before he was arrested for killing this couple inside their Morton County home. Hey, I want to talk about personal trainers and why it, why you should be cautious. 19 year old Austin Haroof was a regular on YouTube, posting several videos of himself. In fact, at times he rambled about bodybuilding and drugs. I'm not saying that steroids are bad. If you want to do them, go right ahead, man. It's unclear when those videos were recorded, but what is clear about this FSU student is just days before the brutal attack, his mother became concerned about his bizarre behavior. According to an incident report, Mina Haroof told detectives that her son had been acting strange for the last week or so, adding that he told her that he had superpowers and he was here to protect people. Despite those comments, Austin's mother did not report him to police until Monday night. That's when investigators say he stormed out of this sports bar after getting into an argument with his father. From there, Austin walked towards his dad's home. But for some unknown reason, he showed up at the home of complete strangers. Michelle and John Stevens were brutally attacked, stabbed to death. Haroof was reportedly on top of John Stevens, chewing pieces of flesh off his face. Tonight, investigators suspect that this aspiring bodybuilder was high on synthetic drugs. Appreciate your fitness, your muscles. Stay, stay at it, man. And just coming into our newsroom, we are hearing the call for help. Mena Haroof dialing 911 after her son stormed out of that restaurant. Take a listen. It seems like he's a little um, delusional or like he's acting like. Does he have a history of like that or anything? Recent, no, this is just like recent um, change mm -hmm. and that we're noticing. Um, and he was out to dinner with his dad today and he took off and we just, you know, he was with his sister and he says, you know, he feels immortal and um, like a superhero. So I'm just, I don't know what's going on with him. And right now, investigators testing blood, DNA, trying to figure out if he was high on synthetic drugs like Flocka and bath salts. We are live in West Palm Beach. I'm Michael Seiden, Local 10 News.